Few people by now will be unfamiliar with the ice bucket challenge, but after all the hilarity and Facebook posts, what is actually going on here? What is the ice bucket challenge really for? We've all seen uh, videos like that one. Friends and family have been doing it. Colleagues have been doing it. I'm joined uh, by Nicola Marlin, Director of Preclinical Science in Thomson Reuters Discovery Science Division, and Senior Content Manager and Science Writer Annie Grohl, also uh, from Thomson Reuters. Um, welcome to both of you. Um, Nikki, let me start with you. We, as I said, we, we, we've all seen videos like that. Uh, but what's actually going on here? What is the ice bucket challenge? So this was a campaign that was run to try and raise awareness for amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, which is known as ALS. Uh, in the UK, it's more commonly known as motor neurons disease. Mm -hmm. It's a rare disease, so the ALS Association started this campaign, a fun campaign, to try and raise global awareness. And it's been particularly successful in the US and then in Europe. Um, it was started in July 2014, and to date is believed to have raised over $115 million. Okay. So very, very successful. Very successful, yeah. Um, Annie, what causes ALS? There are two forms of ALS. There's the familial form, which is inherited, and that affects about 10% of patients. And the sporadic form, which is much more common, it counts for 90% of patients. And even though it is the more common form, the, the, the causes of the sporadic form are not really known yet. There's some environmental risk factors that may be implicated, such as smoking mm. or exposure to pesticides and fertilizers. The cyanobacteria and desert dust have been explored. Okay. Uh, the most important role is played probably by age, because the average onset, age of onset for patients with ALS is about 60 years old. Okay. H how many people, Nikki, have the disease? Well, so as we mentioned, it's a rare disease. So that's classified slightly differently in the US to Europe. In the US, a rare disease is considered as anything less than 200,000 people at a given time. In Europe, that's one in 2,000 people. So less than one in 2,000 is a rare disease. So currently, it's believed there's around 30,000 people in the US suffering from it and just over five in 100,000 people in Europe suffering from it. So considerably below the threshold. And, and, what, and what is exactly as ALS in terms of the disease and, and, and how does it work? Yeah, yeah. So um, ALS affects your neurons in your brain, in particular the motor neurons. These are the neurons that are required to send signals between your brain and your muscles to help them communicate. So as those neurons die and degrade, of course the communication between your brain and your muscles starts to degrade. It's a very complex disease, so mm -hmm. still to date very little is known about those mechanisms and those biological pathways involved in the disease. It's believed that there's actually multiple pathways involved in the progression of the disease. And as Annie said, there are multiple environmental factors that also play a part in the disease, which can then interact with those biological pathways, making it even more complicated mm -hmm. to, to mm -hmm. understand. Annie, if, if someone is diagnosed with ALS, what, what is the typical outlook? Patients will usually have, well, there are two forms of onset of the disease. There's the limb onset and the bulbar onset. Patients with the limb onset are, that's more common, it'll affect about two-thirds of ALS sufferers, and they will begin to have symptoms in their extremities. In the upper extremities, it could be problems with grasping things mm -hmm. or holding things. If it affects the lower extremities, they may have problems walking, so they will stumble over things. Uh, coordination in general is affected. Patients with the bulbar onset, uh, which is less frequent, it's about one third of cases, will have problems speaking clearly or they will have problems swallowing and they will eventually progress to have the limb symptoms as well. And then in the final stages of disease, everybody sort of converges on a common pathway where the symptoms are progressive uh, paralysis, difficulties eating because of swallowing mm -hmm. is affected, mm -hmm. difficulties breathing because the muscles that affect the respiratory system are also affected by this disease. And, and you talk about the, the final stages, so I assume this is a fatal illness. It is. It's relentlessly progressive and really uh, more than half of patients will live only 30 years from onset of symptoms. 30 months. 30, 30 months. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, so um, it's very short. What, what, Nikki, what are the current treatments? Is, is there a cure? 
No, there's currently no cure. So as Annie said, it is fatal. So really the treatments, um, the bulk of the treatments are focused on treating the symptoms in patients. There is one marketed drug that was launched back in 1996, Riluzol. It's marketed by Sanofi. Um, and that's the only real treatment for ALS. And that focuses on a particular mechanism, the glutamate release mechanism. And what that's looking to do is to try and help um, the kind of regrowth and promote the, uh, the generation of neurons and also try and slow the decay of those neurons. Um, but even patients that are administered with that drug, it really only extends their life expectancy by a matter of a few months. Um, so it's by no means a cure. Is, is, uh, we, we talked about a, a drug on the market now. Is, is looking ahead, uh, Annie, is, is, is the future any brighter? Are there, are there drugs in, in clinical trials, for example? Actually, there are. There are about 20 drugs right now in phase two of clinical testing or higher. So they're being administered to patients in a controlled clinical trial setting where the drug's safety and efficacy are being evaluated. And, and yes, presumably in the next few years, we will see something coming yeah. through the pipeline. Can, can you give us an example of one of these new treatments? Uh, yeah, there's a really interesting mechanism that has been identified in recent studies. It's called no-go signaling. And no-go signaling is, a, is an innate mechanism in our body that serves in the healthy adult to suppress the sprouting of axons, which are those long filaments that come out of the neuron. And the axon is what transmits information from the neuron to another neuron or to a muscle. And in a healthy adult, you don't want new axons sprouting because that would destabilize the CNS. But scientists hypothesize that in ALS patients, where the axons and the neurons are affected and dying off, it might be actually beneficial to, to suppress the no-go signaling and enable new axonal sprouting to recover that information transmitting mm -hmm. system mm -hmm. in the body. So they've created a monoclonal antibody that suppresses no-go signaling and that's being tested right now in phase two. You know, we've, we've spoken for a few minutes about this and the ice bucket challenge, etc. How come Thomson Reuters knows so much about this and, and other diseases like ALS? So at Thomson Reuters, we actually deliver knowledge and insight into those working in life sciences research and development. We help support scientists looking at diseases, treatments and drug therapies in making critical decisions throughout their R&D. Um, so we're deeply passionate about this kind of knowledge and insight and in particular we develop uh, manually curated in-depth disease reports called um, disease briefings, ALS being one of those mm. and we, we cover 150 different diseases not just ALS. Good. Well, I'm going to stop it there. Many thanks to, to both of you uh, for coming in. Um, my thanks to Nicola Marlin and Annie Grawl. Also want to thank Mark Stringer for the animations and Francisco Gonzalez for the uh, infographics. For more information on understanding disease, do visit our website at the address uh, on your screen right now. There you go at the bottom. I'm Axel Threlfall. This is Reuters.